Hi everyone, it's Neil. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I have this Mickey Mouse waffle maker. And I had another waffle maker, but um, I saw this one. And I'm like, oh man, I totally got to get it. It makes Mickey Mouse. And I've seen some of the other ones that make the Mickey Mouses that are very flat, more like pancakes. But I kind of like to get this one here because it makes it more like a waffle and it was less expensive as well. So it makes Mickey shaped waffles. So we're going to try this out here. So let's open it up. Let's see how it looks. Here we go. And it's definitely not a huge waffle maker. It's not gonna make huge waffles. It's kind of small here. <clears throat> so let's check it out here. So this is the paper that it came with. And knowing how waffle makers work, they require you to plug them in. So they got the little safety tag here. So if a little kid opens it, they don't plug it in. I even like the way it looks on the outside here. It's got the little Mickey Mouse on it. So I'm gonna plug it in here and get it going while we talk about it. Okay, so here we go. So it's got the little red light on it. I'm guessing the light's probably gonna go out when it's time to put the waffle mix in. Now I'm gonna put this stuff over here. And I did whip up some waffle mix. Uh, not quite the way it's supposed to be. I made it like pancakes. I didn't put the egg in it, but it says if you're gonna make waffles. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. And then here's the manual that it came with. So you can see it says waffle maker and basically the features of it, illuminated power light, latching handle, blah, 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 blah. It says put the waffle maker on a flat surface, plug it in, the light uh, will illuminate. Uh, it says spray with oil or nonstick spray and then let it heat. And then after three to five minutes, the maker has heated to the proper temperature and is ready. Oh, so the light doesn't go off or anything, I guess. I guess it just stays hot, but let me see if I have some spray. I thought I had some spray somewhere. Yeah, here. So I do have some nonstick spray. Let's... And here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. So this is the the waffle maker here, and you can see it's that's what it makes. So I'm guessing it's probably two inches across on the little body section, and the ears are maybe each one an inch. So you're not making a huge waffle. Um, for comparison's sake, I'm gonna show you my other waffle maker, wherever it is. <clears throat> so I have it. So for comparison's sake, this is my Chefman waffle maker, so it makes ones that size, and this one's gonna make ones this size. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. So great for kids, or for just if you're not wanting huge waffles, but if you're a waffle person, you know waffles cook really fast, so even if you are hungry, you can make two or three of those in about 15 minutes, probably. So let's see how this works here now. Let me get a spoon to spoon it in. We're gonna give this thing a shot. I think it's been heated up long enough. Oops. Maybe the little, little rubber foot fell out. Okay, so here we go. So let's see what it looks like here. And I'm gonna put some waffle mix in there. I think it's enough, maybe a little bit more. And then let's close it up. I don't know if I put enough, because I didn't put the egg in there, so I don't know if it's gonna expand as much as it should, but we'll see. So we'll put it in there. So how long does it say to cook it for? It says to cook it for a few minutes. I don't know if it was really even three minutes um, that it's been plugged in to heat up fully, but this is the first time we're trying it. So let's see what goes. Let me get a little plate to put it on. I even have Mickey Mouse plates, so there we go. I'm not actually gonna eat this one because <coughs> um, because it's the first one I didn't, I didn't clean it. <laughs> but we'll see, I still hear some bubbling and stuff. This is kind of getting pretty hot. It looks like the light did go out, so I'm guessing it goes out when it reaches temperature or maybe because I've tilted it so much. Don't know, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. We're gonna let it cook for a minute. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description so you can pick up one yourself. And also, if you like get one of these, you can get this. They have, they sell a thick, a pancake, you can get this and this, which is, little cake pops, so you can kind of see 
It's a little cake pop maker. <clears throat> and there's a package deal where you can get both of those. And I'm gonna do a review of this thing next. Um, but go ahead and you can get a, the package deal of them both for a pretty good price. If, uh, you can save a little bit of money for doing that. Or just get the this one here. There's a link to that as well. So I'll put a couple of links in there so you guys can pick out what you want. Actually, I think they were both in the same link and it was just a drop down on the website. So do we want to look at it now and see how it is? Uh, yeah, it's not finished, but we're going to take it out anyway and let me get that fork. Now, you know what? I'm just going to dump it out because I, I put non stick in there. And this is what it looks like. So you can see, ooh, hot. I didn't put enough stuff in, but it looks like a nice waffle. It's got some good browning on it. Got some good browning on it. And I like the way it's got the little holes there so you can put uh, butter and it'll stay in there. That's the problem with the other ones that look like more like a pancake. You can't put the butter on there and have it soak in or syrup or whatever you want. So this is the Mickey Mouse waffle maker and it works. So I'm giving this a thumbs up and I totally probably didn't cook this long enough. I could have cooked it longer and had it crispy, although it's not not leaking or anything like that, so it's good. So, thumbs up from me, I like it, and I can't wait to make a bunch of waffles. I mean, it makes it so quick, I can just sit there and make a whole bunch of them, and they'll probably still be warm by the time I make them. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more things. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks, bye.